Doing another little short video here. This one is the One World Government that everybody keeps talking about. So I'll break this down. That is basically the Washington, D.C. That really is kind of like the One World Government. First links are basically just uh, how to connect to God, the Source, Universal Father. So that's the beginning of them. Universal Father, asking the universe. How to enter the uh, Theta Bane wave of mind. You know, how to meditate, connecting the Source. Messages from the realm of light, that you are actually a fragment of God. There's a couple more about that. Then it talks about the houses of ego, ascension glossary. When you watch evil and other things like that, or just things that aren't going right, they say observe this non-judgmentally as a compassionate witness when it is in present in people or relationship dynamics. Well, also any kind of situation. You got compassion, law of compassion, empathy, and what the true definition of evil really is. It's just the ignorance and the lack of understanding that all things are connected to God. So, then we skip out a little bit. U.S. government, the one world government. The national, U.S. national security, basically they're saying one world government. And the dictatorial powers of the U.S. president. Dictator of the USA. So, this breaks it down really quick. In 1917, under President Woodrow Wilson, the U.S. Congress passed legislation titled Trading with the Enemy Act. The objective was to stop any American from trading with their enemies and allies and the allies of our enemies during World War I. Section 2, da 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 da. Just been a long, long story short, created the Trading with the Enemies Act. And this actually started the whole thing of our country becoming a dictatorship. Uh, now, anytime somebody basically does a national emergency, if you look at this thing since 1933, it basically says we are in a dictatorship. So, therefore, an effectively permanent law exists that allows the president, by declaring an emergency, to assume the role of dictator. He may designate agencies of his choice to investigate, regulate, and license any transaction of any person, enemy, within the United States by means and rules and regulations he may prescribe. And uh, then down here, the in-depth look into the who controls the cabal, the deep state really is the collective, it's collective evolution. And they break it down basically saying that, uh, yeah, the, the what the Tea Party Party is calling a deep state and this and that, that uh, yeah, they, they've run America. They've run America for over 100 years. So, and this is another one that basically explains that America's been run for over 100 years. So here's a nice little picture explaining how... Um, you know, how the pyramid really works. The government's way at the bottom. Then you got corporocracy. Then you got the banks. Then you got the central banks. Then the international banks. And then the Bank of International Settlements. So basically, money runs the whole situation. So. And then down here, this guy has a good thing to thrive. The movie. Here's a little clip. Thrive and following the money upstream. That, I want, that one matches this one right here. It's a quick, short little video. Here's the whole movie to watch. That's fantastic. Who controls the money controls the world. 25 quotes, quotes from Henry Kissinger basically admitting that uh, America is the one world government. Confessions of uh, Smedley Butler basically saying all war is uh, a racket to make profit for Wall Street. Uh, here's David Icke talking about how Trump's a puppet and everybody, every president's a puppet. Uh, Trading with the Enemy Act, this one's really good, explains the whole truth about that law, how we're basically a dictatorship, and we actually are all enemies of the United States. We are the enemies of the state. So I'll show that again real quick here. This is a little PDF that has little links. Bankruptcy, uh, 1933, state of an emergency. National emergency in the USA. Some more. And uh, then you got the National Emergency Act. So that's a, uh, this explains, uh, again, how you, the National Emergency is set up to make it a, a dictatorship. And now we got the International Emergency Economic Powers Act, IEPA, that made the U.S. president actually the president over the, the uh, dictator over the whole world, really. That was passed in 1979. So here's some more information on that. And then they got private companies running the show. Most of what people think are government actually just private corporations. I'll jump to that again real quick. You just go to Bloomberg. 
like the United States Department of Treasury, United States Mission in the United Nations, United States United Nations is a private company, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, Office of Financial Assets, they're all pretty good private companies. Here's more executive orders by the Treasury. That's how we start people to death and everything with the one world government. But that's pretty much it. So, yep, the Washington, D.C. is pretty much the uh, one world government. So I have the links and some books maybe from Amazon or something.